Okay, and I think it's recording. Okay, and you're back with Cool Dude Clem in the shed. So now I can show you all of that other stuff. And I have to excuse the crudity of this video because I'm just using my laptop to record this, which I've brought out into the shed with me because I don't have a camcorder anymore. This is the only way I can get to record it through the webcam. Anyway, stuff, stuff, and more stuff. So, let's take you through a brief tour of it. I've got to get this all cleaned up and, well, organized and things, but... Anyway, um, start over here, I guess. Now, you may remember this from the previous video, or previous two or one, or however many videos I make before I make this video. That reel-to-reel -reel that wasn't working, well... Having to plug this into my amplifier the other day, and all I got was a hum out of it. Yet, the next time I decided to actually work on it, I turned it on, and it worked. You know, it was playing back beautifully, so uh, I don't know what that was all about. The speaker still doesn't work, but the line out and stuff does. Anyway, uh, what can I... Okay, we'll move on to over here with these two speakers. Now, better to show you at the front. Got the two-way speakers. Bass reflex at the back. Now, I don't know why, this one doesn't appear to have any wadding inside it, but this one does. Which is kind of weird. Why this one's not got anything in it, but that one has. Oh no, wait, it does have some wooding in there, I just couldn't see it. It's all the way down there. And this is the other little Acer PC. The one that's got Windows on it. Or well, maybe that's got Windows 7 on it. I haven't actually powered that one up and see what's on it yet, though. Now, this isn't something he brought around. That's just something I found in the trash. That's one of those air amplifier fan things that doesn't work. The motor control board on that is toasted, so uh, I'll try and fix that and get that working. Alright, down here is another computer. Now this one I think is a quad-core. I'm not exactly sure. But, well, it's got quite a few bits and pieces around the back here, although you cannot really see it. It's because of light in here. So, move that. I mean, obviously it has some kind of pretty good graphic card at the bottom there, because I've got, you can see two HDMI ports, and a DVI, so, might be worth popping the hood on that one and actually seeing what's inside it. And last but not least, computer-wise, over here, there's an old Pentium 2, and uh, that's not much use these days, but I'm thinking of turning that into a vintage gaming machine. You know, for all the old Windows, the old 90s Windows games, I think that will run those quite adequately well. And we'll get into this pile of stuff in just a moment. Don't come in here, cat. I mean, might get locked in. I don't know if you can see him. There's a whole box of goodies here. Excuse me. Taking some bits and pieces out, but, um... We've got some... Nice beefy capacitors. Nothing like... Photonic induction or Rotocall 2007 has, but, um, 
I'm sure I'll be able to make a bit of a bang with those. There's some various other bits and pieces. A black Nintendo Wii. So I've got two of these. There's a white one over over there somewhere. I don't know what I've, don't know what I've done with that, but... Oh, check this out! Check out this graphic card! What about that? Dual in my graphic card. I mean, this thing's got some serious grunt to it. If I find drivers for this, whatever it is, this is an NVIDIA something or other. Can't find the model number. I thought that was the model number right there, but I don't think that is now. Yeah. Put that in one of my computers and see what that can do. That is, if it works. There's amplifiers over here. You know, car amplifiers. I might just use those for bits and pieces. That's what a lot of this stuff is for. For, you know, bits and pieces. A whole load more of ceramic capacitors here. They were also in this box. There's some videotapes. Flybacks. And various transformers. So you can see some of them. Class D or Class T amplifier buried along this lot. I don't know what this thing is. Is it an amplifier? Yeah, that's some kind of amplifier. Oh, it's right too much for an 80 watt amplifier though. Unless that's RMS, which it could be. Let's just put all that back in the box. Untangle the wires. Some people outside in the house over there probably think I've gone mad. I'm talking to myself. Going. Like everybody in England seems to talk now. I don't know why, but people in England don't talk English anymore. I seem to be the only one in this country who still speaks it. Everybody else is just going hubba dubba wubba dubba hubba dubba for some reason. It's annoying because I don't know what they're saying. I think it might be that. Oh, what's it called now? El Baranto or something or whatever it was coming back. It might be that. Anyway, this door is closing, so I've got to deal with that. A couple more speakers here. A car speakers. Let me just deal with this door. I'm trying to get as much light in here as possible because this webcam does not like to light in low conditions. Some more light in here now we can see. There's various bits and pieces over here. I mean, I've got this rather serious looking amplifier here. This, this is the other thing that has mini disc on it. I think there's another mini disc player along with this lot somewhere. I'm not exactly sure about that. And as for whatever this thing is, uh, you work it out because I'm stumped. So I've got receivers, I've got amplifiers, I've got DVD players. And that's not all. I'll come over this side. 
And I've got some bits and pieces over here as well. Oh, there's that other wheel I mentioned. Some of the speakers here. And my... My wire. It's getting in the way. And humma dumma wumma dumma to you too. I think it's just going. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not sure what that is. You can see over there by the bin. I have no idea what that is. All that, as you can see in the simpler screen. So anyway, that's um, pretty much all of it now, actually. You know, I've got to sort all this stuff out. I'm going to clear out that corner there. Put all this stuff in the corner where it's all just neatly tucked away. And finally, I forgot to show you the two other reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders. Um, sorry, the wire keeps getting in the way. There's this one down here, which is a Sony. It's a Sony. And this one here, which I thought was an Akai when I first saw it, but that's actually another Sony as well. As you can see. Oh yeah. Also got a couple of high voltage transformers. This one's give out about yeah, forty eight hundred volts. Apparently these need to be run ballasted or they will pretty much self-destruct inside, so got to be careful with those. I could get like 96,000 volts out of those. If I connected them in parallel, and I might do that one day. Draw some arcs off those transformers. Some 9600 volt arcs. I'm not sure what this thing is. It's got a couple of American sockets on the front. And British plug on the back. And it's pretty heavy, so I think that's some kind of a transformer. For, uh, you know, international voltages. But... Anyway, that's just about it for now. Well, that is it, really. So, I'm going to stop the laptop recording. Try and sort out some of this stuff. And until next time, goodbye.